Hey guys, I'm Nagata Chen and welcome to more action for Sabiku Bisco episode 7. So, previous episode was like quite cute. I really love the bonding between like three of the characters Milo, Bisco, and Tyrol. Yeah, like Tyrol had a, such a horrible life. <laughs> so, I do really like her now. She seemed kind of mean, but she just doesn't trust people. So, yeah, understandable, especially in this kind of world, right? So, uh, but then they finally arrived at a place they should have been able to find the mushroom. But supposedly uh, it has something to do with that weird monster animal which appeared. Like the shroom should be inside of it or on it or something like that. It's like such a weird kind of dragon snake creature with many legs like centipede but they're like kind of looking human-like and it's all creepy like what is wrong with animals in this world what happened they are so creepy some of them are like so hella creepy yeah so that is going to be tough because it seems like it has very tough skin and then Pavu appeared because she has a beef with Bisco. Oh my, that is going to be fun, I guess. Oh boy. I mean, so far things kind of were going smooth. It feels like something big needs to happen. And I'm worried, very. <sighs> because Kurokawa like got a Bisco's father figure master. Um, yeah, well, I should probably just start it. So starting is right now. He has very beautiful green eyes. Very, very beautiful green eyes. This song is so good. Well, I'm going to skip it, unfortunately. Ah, oh, that was too much. Okay, this is about right. Okay. Yeah, she come in. The stolen rust eater. Thank you, spoilers. <laughs> I guess from somewhere. Immediately fighting, attacking each other. Well, that really doesn't mean much. She's still suffering. Yeah, true. Yeah, exactly. You don't even believe that. Ah, uh, she's like, it's not even truth. Oh, good point. <laughs> Stop pissing her off. This guy, that is this creature we need to... It's more like fingers, actually. That's even creepier. Fingers and legs. So what the heck is with... What the hell is wrong with you, creature? Why do you have finger... Leg... Legs... And now it caught her. So at the back it's like fingers and the, at the front it's like fingers and at the back it's like legs. Oh it caught her. Seriously girl. How he got in? On. I mean his claws are powerful true. Pavu come on. I like her suit, or whatever she's wearing. Yeah, uh, that, that would not be Oh no. Oh no. Can you not see that he really cares about him? I 
I mean, it's probably pretty pissed off at you. Be careful, Mila. Oh. Oh, what else he can do? Oh. Will it be okay? Uh, can we do something about this? Oh damn, Milo! He's like, I don't really care that there is this in front of me. I'm just gonna do this. Oh, he used that! Yeah, because they were able to go higher because of her freaking motorbike and his shrooms. Yeah, all of this to save him. Why would he care if he would kind of, you know, be a bad person? She must be so worried. Oh, it's, it's uh, it actually has two hats. That's even creepier. What the fuck is this creature? <clears throat> yeah, I guess it's not going to be very happy after this. Damn. Oh, yeah, that thing is down. I mean, you probably would not feel good if your brain is full of shrooms. Like that, explodes. So. <laughs> he wants to save you, dummy. Oh, yeah, she was so worried. So. Can we like, oh, is it that? So much? Oh no. Can he understand it by... Oh. Okay. So... It's not it. Yeah, he's hurt. Everyone is hurt. But, like, he doesn't care. He wants to save his master. I'm glad that it seems like Pabu really understood because of that situation. Yeah, for him, like, he's been looking for this for so long. For so long, he just doesn't want to stop. Huh? Oh. It only reacts. Interesting. It reacts to his blood. Oh, interesting. <laughs> he doesn't even have an idea. Uh, they don't know. Probably not. Seems like. I mean, if there are so much around mushrooms, maybe it did something to their blood. <laughs> ah yeah then for anyone else it wouldn't be like nothing it would be nothing
I like that she's like she really understood the situation because she saw how much he's worrying about him. So he's going to test it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm glad that she's not stupid. Yeah. Yeah. She's thinking, dude. She's like, what is all of this? What does that mean? I'm glad that despite where she was growing up, and she was probably for a lot of brainwashing BS, she is still very clever. But she cares about her brother. And... <laughs> yep. I knew he was planning something. So... I probably would not try to do that. Huh, so he has a countermeasures. Okay, I don't like this. Can you please put that gun away, sir? I don't like this. You are going to die. Yeah, I mean, that's why I was saying, put that gun, please, away. Ah, he shot him. Ouch. Mila, please, treat the wounded. Rust bullet. That's quite a fuckery, actually. Damn, man. Chill. Okay. She's again going. Hmm. I mean, yeah, it's very fast. She can just take the roads. I don't know, this feels ominous. Oh. Oh, she's so nice. Yeah, I don't think Mila would be very happy about this. <laughs> okay, Pabu, stop flirting. <laughs> Girl. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Girl. I don't know, is she safe? If she's safe, if, you, if she will come back, I don't really know. I don't trust this. Oh. 
Well, this is not good. I knew that I'm not trusting this. This was the reason. Crook of I fishy as fuck. Damn this man. Um, I mean, you're gonna see, right? Damn his voice. Mm. Krokova is such a... Dude. <laughs> yeah, I knew this is not a good thing. I mean, good way how to catch something. Just use the animals being kind of... Yeah. Okay, he gone. Okay. Mating time. Oh yeah. Those are super important. <laughs> it's like. Shut up! <laughs> but yeah. yeah. You were wounded, dude. He's worried about you, man. Yeah, you, you should not be talking about um, qualities of... And like, he's like, please, I'm trying to treat you. Stop it. Thank you very much, I guess. <laughs> no food for you. Yeah. What the hell is in the tea we? Okay. Okay, even Mila is now a criminal. Oh, that's quite a reach. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Did something happen to Jabby? He's not going to tell him, right? Yeah, you don't like- you don't look sus at all. Wow. What they did? What the frick they did? Damn. Mila is scaring me. Yeah. He's not in good shape. He cares about you, though. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh. He knows he doesn't. He's like so hurt. It would be stupid to go there. These damn stupid people caring about other people. Yeah, he's a doctor. He understands that he's a doctor, so he would be able to treat so many people. That's like so beautiful. Like, Bisco understands. He's like, I'm going to wreak havoc, I don't care. Is Bisco really that hurt? Damn. Ouch. <laughs> That's... Probably true, depends. Damn, these guys are fighting it out. I mean, I guess sometimes that's the best thing to do. Oh my god. Milo really got serious. Both of them got serious. Yeah, that looked very hurtful. No, I feel like, yeah, he's going to do something. Oh, this hurts. But damn, Mila like upgraded so much. Mila, you stupid. Come on, Milo. Well, it's because he was always protected, so he wants to protect someone for once. Because people always took care of him. Yeah, that's why he wants to do this. He doesn't want others to suffer for him. So there is still a hope. <laughs> okay. But damn, Milo. <laughs> Milo. <laughs> Chill. God damn it. His progression. Okay. Whew. This was so, uh. Okay, skip in. Please. Work on me. Okay, okay, okay. I really like this episode. I'm going to give it 8 out of 10 just because of how the relationship between like all these characters was shown, you know? I do really like Pavu. She's smart. Despite like she was so bent on to go and like kill Bisco, fight him, whatever. But like the moment she saw he cares about him. And like he doesn't even like he was trash talking her but like when he saw Milo's in danger he was like help me with this take this freaking thing and help me like he stopped caring about fighting she understood and i'm like like i'm, I'm so glad for that <laughs> she's smart girl good very good yeah but because she went back she got herself in a trap i mean that was obvious i knew Kurokawa would do something he is a bastard he just oozes that so what he what he did to them what he did to them Milo said that he's going to save them so there is still hope that's good at least that's good <laughs> that's good but he stopped Bisco from going there because Bisco would definitely go there and he seems to be extremely hurt so, it's not only by the wounds he had, but I guess he has rust too? But he wasn't like showing it because he wanted to save Jobby and I guess he did not want him to get worried. Yeah, Biska, Biska seems like that kind of person who like, is very tough. 
on the outside, but inside he's extremely caring and kind. Yeah, and he doesn't want to bother others with, like, you know, if he's, like, hurt or something. He doesn't want to bother others with his problems. Yeah. Oh, I really like this guy. <laughs> I do really like him. And Milo, his progression. Like, Eddie Star, he was such a, like, yeah, town boy. He was a great doctor and, like, kind of firm. But he changed so much, he learned how to fight. Wow. And, like, very nicely, actually. He has a natural talent for all of this. And, like, the, their, like, fight moment was so amazing, so emotional. The great voice acting was a really big part of it. For sure. It hurt me because, like, they they are such good friends and they care so much about each other. They were just hurting each other. They were like, I don't care. I just can't let you go there because I know you might die there. So they were even willing to, like, hurt each other. And Bisco felt so bad when he, like, punched him. Because, like, he knew it was a lot and, like, Mila is not that much used to it. Right? And he did not want him to, like, hurt him that much. Damn, Milo. Yeah. Uh, but I totally get it. Like, even if you kind of think it's stupid, that, like, he is a doctor, so he should, like, stay alive to, like, save as many people as possible. And he's, like, only hope for these people or whatever. It's just because... His sister always cared for him, right? And she was, like, always there and she, like, did all of this stuff. And then, like, Bisco also. So, Milo feels like he needs to kind of repay them that back. His sister probably got hurt so much for him and Bisco too. So, he's like, I can let you get hurt, guys. You're, you're suffering so much. They both are so ill, right? And they're, like, fighting for him or fought for him. Milo, as a doctor, must feel so horrible that, like, these almost half dead people are, like, fighting so hard, right? Caring for him and, like, putting their life, risking their life, even when they are so hurt. And, like, he who is perfectly fine, perfectly healthy, right? That must feel so horrible. Because he as a doctor really understands that. And he's healthy. So for him, it must be really, really bad. <laughs> like, he feels really bad that he's not able to protect them. Even though he's perfectly healthy. Oh. Oh. Well, I hope things will go right. I mean, Mila changed. He can fight. <laughs> Not perfectly as Biska, but he can fight, as we saw. And, like, he's very smart also. Because when he, like, saved the crab boy, yeah, he got an idea what to do, how to save them. So that might be his strength. He might not be that, like, as fight good experienced or like that strong but he's extremely smart and he uses tactics quite a lot actually yeah he outsmarted Bisco what is Kurokawa's plan I mean he wants to get these two but like why why is he doing all of this the fact that like he turned these people into I don't know what it was Creepy. Very creepy. Huh. What was the story about? When, like, some, some, like, mushroom keeper did something to the people and they went crazy and this kind of stuff. Krukava, I think you have a lot of things to explain. Right? Who the hell he is? 
Hmm. Well, I have bad feeling. <laughs> I don't know, like, Kurokawa is so sinister. <laughs> so goddamn sinister. And like, this whole episode, after Kurokawa appeared and just fucked everything, I was so nervous that something really, really bad is going to happen. I'm still very nervous that something really, really bad is going to happen. I don't want anyone to die, but like, I feel, I feel it might happen. We'll see what kind of story this is, if that will happen. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, this was a really good episode. Well, I guess that's all. Goodbye and see you next time.